There's a place beyond the reach of light, beyond planets, moons, and solar winds, a place so quiet it hums with ancient energy. It is here, nearly 24 billion kilometers from Earth, where Voyager 1 floats in a darkness so complete it feels like the edge of time itself. Launched in 1977, this spacecraft was designed to outlast everything we knew about engineering. But no one ever imagined it would survive this long and still be talking. Yet now, in a twist no one saw coming, Voyager 1 isn't just transmitting data, it's revealing secrets. Something has changed. The signals coming from the probe have shifted in a way that defies decades of scientific expectations. Encoded pulses, impossible temperature fluctuations, and strange positional behavior are all converging into a single terrifying conclusion. Voyager 1 may have found something, or been found. What exactly is lurking in the deep void between stars? Why has Voyager 1 suddenly changed course, turned back, and begun transmitting new information that has stunned NASA's best scientists? What you're about to see and hear could rewrite what we believe about deep space, and possibly our place within it. Voyager 1 began as an ambitious mission to photograph the gas giants, a journey expected to last no more than a decade. Its original route took it past Jupiter and Saturn, capturing never-before-seen details of their moons, storms, and magnetic fields. But as the mission concluded its primary objectives, NASA realized something extraordinary. Voyager was still healthy, still capable, and still moving. And so, they allowed it to continue, setting its course toward the unknown. For decades, the spacecraft continued sending data across the vast emptiness. Scientists received updates on the interstellar medium, solar particles, and background radiation. But what's even more incredible is that all of this was done using 70s technology, a probe with less memory than a digital wristwatch, operating purely on radio waves and plutonium decay. Voyager wasn't just surviving, it was thriving. But as time passed, subtle changes began to appear. Instruments flickered to life on their own. Software that hadn't been updated in 40 years began behaving unpredictably. NASA brushed it off as cosmic radiation interference or hardware degradation. After all, a probe this old had every reason to act erratically. But the frequency and pattern of these anomalies were too precise, too synchronized, to be accidents. In 2023, the Deep Space Network picked up a transmission unlike anything previously recorded from Voyager 1. Instead of the expected slow, droning stream of scientific readings, engineers were met with bursts of tightly timed pulses. Each burst carried layers of data that, when decoded, showed harmonics, frequencies that suggested resonance. Some researchers compared it to a form of language, not one spoken by humans, but one that could only exist in the vacuum of space. Then came the most baffling part. One of the thermal sensors, believed to be long dead, began emitting temperature data showing cyclical heating and cooling patterns, measurable changes that had no plausible source. Voyager 1, drifting in the coldest part of known space, was warming up, and not randomly. The cycles were every 4.8 hours, consistent, rhythmic, intentional. Even more disturbing, Voyager began to respond to NASA's pings before they were fully sent, transmitting packets of information as if it anticipated the incoming request. This behavior sparked panic in the engineering teams. How could a machine with no onboard AI, no advanced prediction algorithm, seemingly know what Earth was about to ask? And worse, why was it doing this now, after more than four decades of silence? As ground teams scrambled for answers, Voyager initiated its most bizarre act to date. It began altering its own trajectory. Without instruction, the probe made micro-adjustments using its remaining fuel, slowly shifting its course by a few degrees. NASA's attempts to correct it were overridden. The commands were received, but ignored. It was as if Voyager was no longer listening, or listening to something else. The new trajectory pointed not toward a known star, nebula, or gravitational anomaly, but toward an otherwise empty patch of space. To the naked eye, it's nothing. To infrared and gamma ray scans, it's even less. But according to Voyager's data, something is there. Something emitting a very faint pulsed frequency that matches the odd signals Voyager began sending months before. Worse yet, its cameras, long thought to be shut down, powered back on. 
and instead of capturing star fields or distant galaxies, they produced a spiral-shaped distortion pattern that resembled a magnetic field map. Only the pattern was moving, pulsing, and embedded with numerical ratios tied to hydrogen signatures. Voyager wasn't capturing light. It was recording information. Within weeks of receiving the spiral data, researchers at NASA and SETI were overwhelmed. The pattern wasn't just visual. It had structure, intention. Layers of information embedded in electromagnetic waveforms pointed to something more than natural phenomena. It was a signal. And not just any signal. It contained prime numbers, frequency intervals, and vector maps. Then came the final confirmation. Voyager transmitted a coordinate, one that intersected with the galactic plane at a very specific distance. When plotted, it formed a triangulation point involving three known pulsars and a void between them. It was, in essence, a location, a destination. Experts began to debate. Was Voyager being summoned? Was it merely relaying what it found? Or was it under the influence of an external presence? The scientific community was split. But one thing was clear. This wasn't a malfunction. This was a message. One built using Voyager's own systems, its own language, and its own history of data. And now, it's headed straight there. As Voyager 1 continued into the silent region it had been redirected toward, its instruments began to pick up something that defied conventional models. The data didn't suggest a black hole or a dying star, nor was it a cloud of dark matter. What it detected was a complete void, so absolute that even the cosmic microwave background radiation appeared to bend unnaturally around it. The team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory compared the data with archived sky maps from earlier missions and discovered something chilling. A star that should have been there, documented in optical surveys from 1997, was gone. Not dimmed, not collapsed, erased. No trace of infrared heat, no gravitational influence, no lingering radiation. It was as if the star had been plucked from the fabric of space, leaving behind a perfect nothing. Some scientists whispered about a localized failure in reality itself, a tear in the cosmic code. Soon after, Voyager 1 transmitted a string of anomalous signals that, when converted through spectrogram analysis, revealed something no one expected, a sound. Not the usual background hiss of deep space, but a coherent pulse. It repeated at precise intervals, like sonar bouncing back off an invisible surface. What truly disturbed the researchers was the delay between each pulse. When calculated, it suggested that the signal had originated over 13,000 years ago, somewhere in deep space, and had only now reached the probe, a message predating all of recorded human history. But who sent it? And why was it encoded in such a way that only a spacecraft traveling at Voyager's trajectory and velocity would intercept it? Theories ranged from ancient alien beacons to natural time loops created by gravitational distortions. But one possibility stood above the rest. Voyager hadn't stumbled upon a region of interest. It had been summoned. As news of Voyager's bizarre findings spread, researchers at the James Webb Space Telescope pointed its powerful instruments toward the coordinates. What they found sent a chill through the astrophysics community. There was no visible object no structure, no planet. But the space there was bent, curved by some unseen force like a lens made of gravity, but with no mass at its center. Even more disturbing was what James Webb detected inside this gravitational lens, a pattern resembling the thermal signature of Voyager 1 itself. Except, the real Voyager was still light years away. Was this a reflection, a duplication, a paradox? The data suggested that time itself may be distorted in this region, perhaps even looping. Could Voyager be approaching a place where the past and future blur, where light and data echo forward and backward? A pocket of space-time unlike anything we've seen before? Amid mounting confusion, a group of fringe theorists, quantum physicists, and AI researchers quietly published an explosive hypothesis. Using AI-enhanced simulations, they proposed that Voyager had entered a region of space governed by a different quantum regime. In this realm, matter, time, and information didn't behave as we understand them. Their AI models showed a repeating structure encoded within the latest signal, 
an algorithm not made by humans, but appearing designed. Something, or someone, had embedded a kind of quantum key into the region, accessible only by specific frequencies, the kind Voyager emitted. What if Voyager wasn't exploring the universe randomly? What if its path had been guided by a cosmic intelligence, one that anticipated humanity's development, one that wanted to be found, but only when we were ready? What Voyager 1 has uncovered is not just a scientific anomaly. It's something deeper, a cosmic puzzle that challenges our understanding of time, space, and reality itself. For nearly five decades, this small spacecraft has drifted silently through the void, carrying the dreams and questions of humanity. And now, as it reaches the farthest limits of our known universe, it may have discovered that the universe is far stranger than we ever imagined. Are we on the verge of answering a question we never knew we were asking? Have we received the first whisper from something or someone watching us from beyond the stars? One thing is certain, this isn't the end of the Voyager story. It's only the beginning of a new chapter, one that forces us to reconsider everything we thought we knew about our place in the cosmos. So, what do you believe Voyager has found out there? A glitch in the universe? A doorway? Or something even more unimaginable? Let us know your theory in the comments. And if this discovery made you question reality even for a moment, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more mind-blowing revelations, and hit the bell so you never miss what's coming next. Because if Voyager 1 just confirmed what we all feared, what else is waiting for us in the dark?